They are a very solid coalition with two-thirds majority. There's no justification for DRS to cooperate with Bersatu. It is a weak party. Bersatu is not a local party, but one that is masquerading as one. Political analysts are dismissing the likelihood of Gabungan Rakyat Sabah accepting Bersatu into the coalition's fold. Janiri Amir, a fellow of the Malaysian Council of Professors, said any attempt by Bersatu to work with the ruling state coalition will be met with stiff resistance. There's no point to work with Malaysia Party. And furthermore, by accepting Bersatu, they might have to compromise some seats, complicating efforts. Not all component parties are willing to work with Bersatu. So who is Hazizi? willing to appease component parties or Sabah. University of Tasmania's James Chin concurs, saying that throwing Bersatu in the mix would only complicate seat allocation. However, he noted that politics is especially fluid in East Malaysia. Today, your friend, tomorrow your enemy. So this is very true of Sabah. Uh, if you were to ask me to name the number of parties in Sabah, I honestly cannot name it because there are so many. But of course, in Sabah, Politics is called ACH, uh, anything can happen. So, of course, uh, all this talk could be just a uh, starting of the negotiation tactic. They may come to some other, uh, uh, some sort of uh, formula as well. Recently, Rasatu Vice President Ronald Kian Di suggested that his party might collaborate with GRS in the upcoming Sabah election, which could take place either next year or in 2025. Natasha Bust, FMT News.